handle adjustment lever and switch triggers are all located on the handle. Warning! Never start the machine without a drive disc and pad or brush fitted. Do not keep the machine rotating on one spot as this could cause overheating and damage to the floor surface. To attach a drive disc and pad or brush, ensure the machine is switched off. Fit the drive disc and pad or brush onto the drive plate and rotate it anti-clockwise until secure. Return the machine to the upright position. Fully unwind the supply cord from the handle and plug into the main supply. The neon indicator on the handle should light, showing that power is available. Adjust the handle to a comfortable working position. With both left and right hands on the handle, depress both interlock buttons with your thumbs and squeeze both switch triggers to start the machine. With both left and right hands on the handle, depress both interlock buttons with your thumbs and squeeze both switch triggers to start the machine. Once the machine has started, the interlock buttons can be released. The machine will operate with either or both the switch triggers held. Normal movement of the machine is from side to side across the floor. This is achieved automatically by raising or lowering the handle whilst it is engaged in the normal working position. Lowering the handle, thereby increasing the pressure at the rear of the brush, drive disc, moves the machine to the left. Raising the handle, increasing the pressure on the front of the brush, drive disc, moves the machine to the right. To stop the machine, release the switch triggers. If using the machine to scrub or shampoo, the solution tank must be fitted. Fill the solution tank with water and detergent. The flow of solution from the tank is controlled by moving the left hand lever. Releasing the lever stops the solution. Unplug the machine. Remove the drive disc and pad or brush. Wrap the mains cable around the handle and grip as demonstrated. Gently wipe down the machine after use. The machine should normally be stored in the upright position. Regularly inspect the cord and plug for damage or loose connection.